nine-year-old kid raises over $80,000 for bulletproof vests for vulnerable doggos. Nine-year-old Brady Snakowski is just like any other kid. He loves playing baseball, he loves watching TV, especially live PD. He goes to school, and if you saw him on the street, I'm not sure you'd stop in your tracks and say, wow, what an amazing kid, just from looking at him. I don't know what it is that makes some people different, gives them that inspiration and energy to step up, step out and do something to make a change. But whatever it is, this kid has it. Anyway, the story goes that this young lad was watching his favourite TV show when he spotted something which seemed terribly unfair. And if there's one group of people who know all about when something's not fair, it's kids. If you've got kids yourself, you'll know that's one of their favourite expressions. It's not fair, even though it's usually about a friend or sibling getting more candy than them. But oh my goodness, Lord bless the heart of this little lad. So there he is, watching live PD, and he spots something many of us wouldn't have given a second thought to. All the human officers are wearing bulletproof vests. But what about the pups? They're completely vulnerable. Does that seem fair to you? It certainly didn't to nine-year-old Brady. Straight away, Brady was on his mum's case, saying that he wanted to get a bulletproof vest for the dog he'd seen on screen. At first, it was just one dog he was thinking about. So he approached his mum, Leah Tornabeen, and told her he wanted to do something about it. She explained to him that it wasn't something they could afford to simply fork out for themselves. So she set up a GoFundMe page. And yes, that one act of heartfelt, thoughtful kindness has now raised over $80,000 for vulnerable and deserving doggy police officers. Brady says on the GoFundMe page, helping those canines stay safe as they help us each day in the community is the least I can do. Hopefully, one day all canines are provided with a vest. Until then, I'm here to help those in need of one. His mother explained to him that it wasn't something they'd be able to afford themselves, as right there and then, Brady wanted to head out and pick up a ballistic vest for the pooch in peril. And I don't blame her either. I can't say it's anything I've ever even thought about. But we expect an awful lot from these canine officers. They often have to go in first, putting themselves in danger to help prevent humans from getting into harm's way. If we expect so much of them... Isn't it only fair that we offer them appropriate protection to do their job properly? But as Leah explained to her son, those vests don't come cheap. In fact, a good vest, which is not only protects the dog from bullets, but is also properly fitted, offering a full range of movement and also keeping the animal cool, costs a cool $1,200. They'd be shaving some little luxuries off the shopping budget for a long time to come up with that kind of cash. So that's when Brady's Canine Fund was born, and it has worked miracles. To date, they have purchased not one, but 80, yes, 80 vests for those danger doggies. Maybe you think this is a bit of a whim, a bit of silliness, and dogs just don't need that kind of thing. But the sad truth is, dogs do get hurt serving and protecting us and their officer partners. If you own dogs, you know just how precious they are and how important it is to keep them safe. I was only watching Britain's Got Talent the other night and one of the acts brought his canine officer on with him who had been stabbed and nearly died. Perhaps it could have been prevented. The wonderful thing about this is the incredible bond there is between these beautiful animals and their human officers. Yes, they're working animals and they have a job to do, but they are loyal, loving and would do anything for their masters. The last time I visited Brady's GoFundMe page, he had raised a whopping $82,000 and that number is climbing as people are still giving. But there is such a need. Maybe you want to check it out for yourself. Yes, they've made a big difference in buying 80 vests, but there is so much more work to be done for the loving, loyal and hardworking pups. Even now, there are 50 canine officers on the waiting list hoping that funds will be raised to buy them a vest while they go out day after day placing themselves in terrible danger for us. I was never a dog person. I was always raised with cats until we got our two pups, Charlie and Jack, eight years ago. 
Now I'm a complete convert. I'm awed by these amazing creatures and the job they do for their human partners is just incredible. Maybe you should head over to that GoFundMe page right now and chip in to make a big difference. You never know. You could just be saving a life. It took the innocent, sweet and loving heart of a child to spot a problem where many people wouldn't have seen it. People like Brady are absolute treasure in this life. It's hearts like his that make a difficult and challenging world all the more hopeful to live in. If only there were more people like Brady Snakowski. Maybe there are. Maybe we're not all doomed after all. Well done, Brady. We really mean it. Keep thinking the way you're thinking now and you'll be an example to us all. Oh, and one last thing. You'll never guess what Brady wants to be when he grows up. You got it. A police officer. And we have no doubt that he'll make a super cop. And we're sure his dream will come true. Go for it, Brady. It would be a privilege to have you serving us. Make sure you share this lovely heartwarming story with your friends and family. And so more people will hear about his work and more canine officers will be saved. <laughs>